So it's the Southpaw Pacquiao against the conventional fighter Lidwaba. And remember, whenever you have this situation, part of the competitive imperative is to get your front foot outside your opponent's front foot, give you the angle from which to attack. You know, I'd like to think that you should get in there and just fight those guys and forget where your feet are. Make them try to remember where their feet should be. When you start watching out for that, you'll never get a knockout, that's for sure. Just box, box, make them decide. That's exactly what Emmanuel Stewart was saying to me last week about a uh, conventional fighter fighting a southpaw, that, that too often these things are overanalyzed. It's better to just go fight and put pressure on the southpaw. That's right. You always be in position. When you throw a shot, get your hands in and bring them right back in position quick. There's no such thing as being out of position. Ledwaba has an excellent jab. Some conventional fighters tend not to use their jab as much against a southpaw because with that shoulder in front of them, they think they're not going to land it. The opposite side of that coin is go ahead and keep using it with the other guy on the defensive. Don't touch with them. They want you to touch and make contact and bring it back with the southpaw. But sting it out there. Make them fearful of it. You may miss a few times, but not as much as you would have the practice you've done in the ring, I mean, the, on the punching bag. The, the, the Kyo, the Kyo, said Pacquiao, it, but, say Pacquiao. Pacquiao, Pacquiao yeah. should fight here. He shouldn't try to get into a boxing match with this master boxer from South Africa. You got to fight this guy because he knows how to slip, punch. The whole book, he has it. He showed us that in South Africa, where he completely dominated the first nine rounds of the fight against Contreras. But then he seemed to fade a little bit in the last three rounds. Contreras began to land his left hook and give him some trouble. Yesterday in our fighter meeting, Ledwaba said to us that he had hurt his right hand in the fourth round of that fight. We were unaware of it that particular evening. But you can jump on a boxer like that and keep throwing shots. More unorthodox, the better for them, and he'll never be able to regain his life. Blood from the water's nose. Keep him up, right? Don't allow him to get into his boxing groove. Then you are in shape trying to box a boxer in bad shape. And Pacquiao, Pacquiao landing some hard shots. That's what you got to do. Throw it all out. Manny Pacquiao has landed the harder shots in round one, and now he dominates the last minute of the round with a full-scale attack against Ledwaba. Freddie Roach said to me yesterday, hey, look, we have great respect for Ledwaba, and we know he's a great boxer, but he won't be able to handle, including 22 out of 40 power shots against Ledwaba's 9 of 28. So we watched Ledwaba get off to a great start down in South Africa. Here he gets off to an uncertain start against Pacquiao's hard punches in round one, and here comes the Filipino fighter again. Boom! Ledwaba is going to have to do something to slow down his charge because otherwise he's not going to be able to handle this aggression as a boxer. He's got to fight. Yep. You got, you got, this far away from home, can't depend on your boxing skills all the time. You got to fight. You want to fight? The fight is yours, but it's not going to develop like that. You talk about getting old in a hurry. Lejanola Ledwaba Four. looks like an old 29 Five. in there Six. against 24-year-old Manny Seven. Pacquiao right now. Hey, how you feel? You okay? I didn't see the punch. It, it looked like a short left hand. We'll have to see in the replay. I think it was a bunch of punches. I think it was the whole fuselage. I think it started in the first couple of punches thrown in the first round. Absolutely. I think this guy just hit so hard that Ledwaba is totally on the defensive. That Robert came in as the potential star. Right now, it looks like Pacquiao may go out as the star. He took this fight on only two weeks' notice, only came here to America ten days ago, and he is banging Ledwaba right now. You gotta fight. If you want to be a star, you gotta fight. That's a rude awakening for a good master boxer like Ledwaba. There you go, a body shot by Ledwaba. That Pass may change Pacquiao things. You got it. lands two straight lefts. He went to the body, and that's the most important shot tonight. Right to the body. So Ledwaba momentarily coming alive after having tasted canvas 
in round two, having tasted his own blood in round one. This is the time to go to the body if you're little wobble. Go to the body and beat and maintain pain. And he has suddenly stopped Pacquiao's assault. Now Pacquiao right. comes back with a body shot of his own. And bangs Led Waba again with a big left upstairs. What a fight. They're trading vicious body shots at short range. Not landed that left hook once he throws that. If he's able to throw it, you can see a different fight. A left hook to the body. Well, he's going to get a chance, too, because Pacquiao is squaring up. Oh, time. Sequence after sequence. Give me enough to. Let's see what caused the knockdown directly. All right, seconds out. Oh, yeah, that little left. A little straight left hand that was seconds so out. short that you could hardly corner, see guys. it, but obviously Ledwaba really Let's felt go. it. And then a bigger left hand later on. Pacquiao landed 43 of 86 power shots by CompuBox numbers in that round. 46 of 104 punches overall. Ledwaba 23 of 43, including, as George Foreman pointed out, the big right hand body shot that momentarily stopped Pacquiao's assault. Now, you don't want to get Pacquiao to start boxing now. Winning this fight hands down when he was fighting, fighting. Start boxing, this guy can take over things. Don't hesitate. Pacquiao should be jabbing right now. There you are, but throwing shots. You wait. Pacquiao is asking questions of Ladwaba he may never have been asked before. And we're trying to see what his responses are. Can he get his feet back? Can he get his head back? Can he turn it around? If he can get that left hook to the to the right side of Pacquiao. Well, that's he what can, his trainer was asking he for. He can get that hand down just a little bit, and that's what you want to do. Get his hand down and have him hesitant. Pacquiao throwing that right jab. Trainer Norman Pabani pleading with him as he got up out of his corner between rounds. Throw the left hook, land the left hook. Pacquiao to the body with an explosive shot. And another. And a big right hand upstairs. And now he's got Ledwaba back on the defensive and bleeding badly. He's got to stay on it. He cannot give him a break. Ledwaba does not want to fight. He want a boxing match. So give him a fight. Ledwaba, go to the body. Get the air out of this giant. Ledwaba's gloves are smothered in blood, his own blood, and some of it is now appearing all over Pacquiao. Ledwaba has American cut man Cassius Green in his corner, and Green's got a big job in front of him. As the nose is pouring blood. You gotta understand, you lose a lot of blood like that. You've been a fighter of your life, you need that strength. Seems like a small amount, but you need every drop of blood you can. Well, and when it's man. pouring straight out of your nose like that, George, it's bound to come into your mouth. You swallow it. It's a horrible taste. Most importantly, it's coming out of your body. You don't have it as reserves. Give you oxygen. I don't know if a, what a doctor would say about that. <laughs> I think you'd say exactly what you're saying. I think you're entirely on target, George. You need every ounce of fluid you can get in an experience like this. What he heard. No. We'll find out in a minute. Straight left hand, he said, followed by the left hook. Let's see. You gotta, you gotta throw a lot to maybe he'll pick up one. Harold Letterman, how do you have it through the first three? Okay, Jim, 30 to 26, three rounds to nothing. 
uh, Manny Pacquiao. Jim, in the, in the second round, of course, you got to give him a 10-8 round, an extra point for the knockdown. That was incredible. It appeared as, it, it appeared as though Joe Cortez was going to call it no knockdown. He signaled no knockdown. When Lagrava didn't respond, that's when he picked the count up, interesting enough. Another thing, Cassius Green is probably using adrenaline chloride, 1 to 1,000 in the nose, oh. and ice on the outside to constrict the blood vessels to stop the bleeding from Lagrava's nose. Is that legal, Harold? Yes, adrenaline chloride, absolutely legal. 1 to 1,000, ice on the outside, absolutely legal. Yeah, but guess what? It hasn't stopped the bleeding. Lagrava is doing a good job when he holds his ground and throw that straight right hand of his. Shouldn't bend over at all. You just got to stand in position in the pocket and throw the right hand. When he does, does a good job of it. Yeah, but so far, Pacquiao has landed more power shots than Lenwaba has been able to throw punches. So it's a compu box wipeout. There's a big left hand for Lenwaba. But here comes Pacquiao again. Lenwaba stands his ground and just throw the right hand. The guy's right there in front of him. Just the straight right hands now. There it is. Here you go. But you want about four or five of those, and then you come back with the hook before you decide to clean it out. You can't reach out for it as Lawaba's doing. You gotta let him just fall into it. Now Lawaba seizes the initiative. Starts firing his jab. Pacquiao's quick on the trigger, George. You know, he shouldn't allow that Wabo to get set again. He's got to throw a shot, throw a shot, faint him, faint him, throw a shot, throw a shot. Don't allow him to think. His corner told that Wabo not to blow his nose, and he's doing it anyway. Pretty hard not to do it, isn't it? You just, certain things you just got to do, whether they're hard when or not. your nose is all stopped up with blood and you can't breathe, it's a natural instinct. You can go against it. Learned. Yeah. Got to do it. Guy from the Philippines. Guy from South Africa. Giving us a hell of a fight. And Pacquiao wobbled. Let Delgado now gracefully stepping back to number two to allow Freddie Roach to take over because they think Roach can take him to another level. That Waba is called Hands of Stone which of course originated with Roberto Duran. But Pacquiao is the one who seems to have the rocks in his gloves. They told him to move his head a little bit. I don't know if that's smart, Pacquiao. Why? Why? Because this guy starts aiming on you. You move his head and he can hit you. Let Wabba. That's what he, he prefers, a guy boxing and moving and weaving. Knows exactly what to do. But if you get wild on him like... Pacquiao has been doing. He has no defense. Just keep throwing punches. Make him move out of your way. Pacquiao got away with a low blow. Joe Cortez was blocked from seeing it. Freddie Roach also told his fighter, don't follow Lenwaba around. Cut off the ring instead. Lenwaba has not attacked, put on any kind of attack at all. You gotta make the youngster back away. One of the hardest things to do in boxing, seize the initiative against a strong punching opponent when you're getting rocked. That's the challenge that has faced Ledwaba for these five rounds. But you gotta go on attack at some point or another. The guy's gonna try to cover up or something, just stay with it. Then you make him respect you, and then you can get your left jab and all those things working. Pacquiao's grinning in there because it's been fun for him to pepper Ledwaba with power punches over and over. Yeah, he's caught this guy Ledwaba by surprise, and that's all there is to it. And in response to Pacquiao's low blow earlier in the round, Ledwaba reaches out with a low blow of his own. But Cortez saw that one and said, keep it up. Robert's trying to use his jab, but he's got to make Pacquiao lower his head just a little bit. Jab him to the body three or four times and then come up. 
Ledwaba getting a little bit more adept at ducking and slipping away from Pacquiao's power shots. Hasn't yet found the right offense to go behind that. That's what Pacquiao's got to do. Keep throwing the shots, Pacquiao. Keep the punching on. You can't allow this guy to get his balance going. Get back on you. There are so many southpaw cuties in the lower weight classes. There aren't that many southpaw punchers with mustard. Pacquiao is fun to watch. Boom! Interpreting Sutu over in Ledwaba's corner. English is spoken in both corners as well. So now, it's confusing. Let Robert Corner has better pay some strict attention now. If this guy doesn't pick up, turn his fight around, it'll look to kind of call it a day. Mercy. He's been caught by surprise. He's a good fighter. He had no idea. Pacquiao may take care of it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How do you feel? You're going to continue? Take that, take that. When have you ever seen a fighter say, I'm, I'm not okay? There's a weariness and almost a resignation in the eyes of Ledwaba. Yeah, and Joe Cortez has seen enough. That's a TKO victory for the very impressive Manny Pacquiao, who takes a good fighter and just takes him apart with power yeah, shots. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's what I want it. Pacquiao took the fight on two weeks' notice. Ledwaba thought he was going to be fighting against a fighter named Enrique Sanchez. As George said, he got surprised here. Uh, I think Pacquiao established himself as a crowd-pleasing entry into the featherweight division tonight. I had never seen him. I frankly had never heard of him. But I've seen and heard of him now. And you want to see him again. I want to see him again. <laughs> I do, too. <laughs> After we saw Ledwaba in South Africa, we said to ourselves, well, let's see him again. He looked really good. Now let's see Pacquiao again. That was some performance. I love you. Yeah, yeah. I dream, uh... So a world title world belt for Manny Pacquiao as he lifts it away from Lesanola Ledwaba. There's the first knockdown, straight left hand. It's a quarter to five in the morning in Soweto, where, where Ledwaba is from. There is no joy in Soweto Sunday morning. And here's the second knockdown. And as Larry, as you said at the beginning of the round, there was a weariness about Ledwaba. He it began wasn't the round. The guy was out. <laughs> <laughs> he went to his corner the previous round out. Yeah, you told you pointed, pointed that out. out to you. Yeah, that he wasn't was it? he was walking on well, little shuffle feet. That was feet. nothing in his eyes but sleep. Yep. Well, and a certain resignation that it wasn't going to get any better. Yep. Oh, mm -hmm. when you go to your corner and you can't see, you don't have any resignation. All oh, you are resigned. <laughs> Period. Night, night lights out. Yep. Well, I would have kept him down. Corners in, in the corner yeah. after round five because of the way he walked back yeah. there. Because he took a huge shot at the end of the fifth round. He didn't know where he was. No, I don't think he could do that with a with a terrific champion. You hope that he can pull himself together and you pay respect to him if he wants to go on. Because what, he what happens on, after he this? He didn't, want, he didn't know where he was to want to go on. Hey, let's go up the ring and out to Michael Buffer and pay honor to Manny Pacquiao. Ladies and gentlemen, at 59 seconds of round number six, referee Joe Cortez following the second knockdown waves off the count and calls a halt to the bout the winner by knockout victory and now a two-time world champion he is now the reigning ibf super bantamweight champion of the world manny pacquiao you know i said before this fight guys that if he was anywhere near as good as flesh awardy we would really see something this guy may someday be compared to Elordi and may even surpass him. Moving to Los Angeles to work with Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach has a terrific talent to work with in Manny Pacquiao. Let's go back upstairs. After we look at final punch stat numbers. 
And here are the final punch stat numbers. Pacquiao landing 80 more, throwing almost as many, or I mean throwing more than twice as many, landing almost as many as Ledwaba threw. That's what I meant to say. Ledwaba landed at a higher connect percentage, but that meant nothing in the face of the firepower that Pacquiao laid on him. It was a power punch festival for Pacquiao. 113 out of 241. Again, Ledwaba landing at a higher percentage, but what did that mean? He threw one quarter as many non-jab punches.